Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Netflix suffers devastating blow after teaming up with Obama. Here's what subscribers just did. After a number of controversies and several missteps, including the announcement of a partnership with former President Barack Obama as a content provider and promoting pedophilia in a children's cartoon, Netflix is suddenly facing a problem it didn't expect just a few short months ago. A lot fewer subscribers. The extremely popular streaming service announced that it added only 5 million new subscribers over the past three months. That sounds like a huge number, but experts actually predicted Netflix would gain at least a million more subscribers than that. This is the first time the company has failed to not exceed expectation, and the news caused concern on Wall Street, especially after getting news that subscribers were ditching the company over its liberal agenda. After this news, Netflix stocks dropped 14% in after-hours trading. This translates into billions in market share losses. Here is more on this via Reuters. Netflix Incorporated subscriber growth fell short of Wall Street expectations on Monday, sending shares of the normally high-flying stock down 14% on fears that the company's rapid expansion is slowing. The streaming video pioneer added 5.2 million customers from April through June, 1 million fewer than forecasts from Thomson Reuters I-B-E-S, as it added new programming including Lost in Space and new episodes of Marvel's Jessica Jones and 13 Reasons Why. We had a strong but not stellar Q2, Netflix said in a quarterly letter to shareholders. Netflix said it had over-forecasted quarterly fluctuations in the pace of new customers. The company noted that it had underestimated subscribers for seven of the past ten quarters. Before the earnings report, Netflix shares had gained 109%, making it the second-strongest performer on the S&P 500 index. In after-hours trading on Monday, Netflix shares sunk 14% to $343.60, eroding $24.2 billion in market capitalization and down from an earlier close of $400.48. Investors are devastated by Netflix's Q2 projection that went down in dramatic flames. Now future projections are suspect and that decimates valuation, said Eric Schiffer, chief executive officer of private equity firm Patriarch. Wall Street had been betting that Netflix would deliver outsized growth as demand for online entertainment increases around the globe. The company is spending heavily to hook new customers, budgeting $8 billion for programming and $2 billion for marketing in 2018. Netflix added 670,000 subscribers in the United States, well below analysts' estimates of 1.19 million, according to Thomson Reuters b e s It signed up 4.47 million subscribers internationally while analysts were expecting 4.97 million. The overly optimistic projections were pretty broad across multiple markets, Chief Financial Officer David Wells said on the Post Earnings webcast. Executives voiced confidence about the long-term health of the streaming service. Chief Executive Reed Hastings said median viewing hours were growing, though he did not provide specifics. The fundamentals have never been stronger, Hastings said. Forrester analyst James McQuivey said he believed that the quarterly results were not a sign of softening in the business overall. These are still millions of new subscribers, even if they didn't meet the expectations that might have been set by the last two quarters, which were extraordinarily high, he said. Earnings per share came in at 85 cents, beating analyst forecasts of 79 cents. Total revenue rose 40.2 percent to $3.91 billion. Analysts had expected revenue of $3.94 billion. For the current quarter, Netflix projected it would add 5 million customers. It is making a big push in India. Earlier this month, it debuted its first Indian original series, Sacred Games, part of a slate of new shows aimed at the vast Bollywood entertainment market. Netflix said operating margins would be narrower than previously expected because of the rapid strengthening of the US dollar, which appreciated by more than 5% against major trading partners' currencies in the second quarter. While most of the company's revenue growth comes from international markets, the vast majority of its costs remain dollar-denominated. Hastings said the company would make adjustments to account for foreign exchange rates in order to steadily increase operating margins. At the same time, Netflix faces growing competition. Amazon.com Inc. plans to add more regional content in India as it builds the Prime Video service around the world. Apple Inc. is pouring money into original programming signing up A-list names including Oprah Winfrey. And AT&T Inc. has promised to boost investment in HBO after taking over the network in its Time Warner acquisition. Meanwhile, cable distributors are offering smaller and cheaper bundles of channels. 
In the letter to shareholders, Netflix said it expected more competition from international players including ProZeeb and Sat1 Media in Germany and on-demand service Salto in France. Our strategy is to simply keep improving, Netflix said. Although the exact cause of the lower numbers isn't fully known one can't help but notice that this happened right after the many actions by Netflix that have outraged the political right in this country. Let's not forget that earlier this year, Netflix announced a partnership with former President Barack Hussein Obama to produce new content for the company. Later came the so-called comedian Michelle Wolf, who has a new show on Netflix and who personally trashed White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders' looks at the Washington Press Correspondents' Dinner and later even refused to apologize. Later her show featured a salute to abortion, celebrating it with a parade-like performance to protest the appointment of Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. It hasn't only been recently that Netflix took a sharp turn to the left. Last year they premiered a new show, Dear White People, which targeted white people as the cause of America's racial strife and most of the world's problems. The controversies have caused many subscribers, myself being one of them, to cancel in protest. And new subscribers may have also decided to stay away in protest. Someday pop culture will understand how much they need middle America's hard-earned dollars, but till that day comes, we will enjoy seeing media companies fail as they try to cater to Sodom and Gomorrah. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.